So you want to build a great PC and the essential component is the power supply. You want to choose a better power supply but how do I choose the better one? All the power supply look square and black colored. Normally we only see the power ratings like the wattage when we are going to buy one. But the transient current, the cable quality, the components quality and the heat sinking and that kind of stuff is normally hidden under the rug. So there is only one way to open up the power supplies. So today in this video we will explore what's the difference between a cheap versus a good power supply. Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here. So today I have uh, two switching mode power supplies and the interesting part about both of them I paid same amount of money for both of the power supplies and the power ratings are even same but there is a catch guys one of the power supply this or this i don't know let me find out failed sooner as soon as i install into my pc and one is still running so place your bets right over here and let me know which is the cheaper power supply this one or this one first or second one comments down below now taking a look at the both smps i can see two heat sink two heat sink Two capacitors, two capacitors, transformer, transformer. But there is a catch, guys. If I lift up this guy, I can easily feel that this is very lightweight. This one clearly like uh, double the amount of weight than this one. So yeah. Generally, the quality of the components is clearly reflected in the weight. So if you have a heavier power supply, it's much better quality. Now the second point, the heat sink. As you can clearly see, this one has a proper aluminium heat sinks with the pins and it is a much heavier quality, lot of aluminium is there so it can dissipate heat better. Whereas this guy, wow, I mean just take a look at this guys, very thin little plates of the heat sink and these heat sinks will heat up much faster and blow up these transistors or MOSFETs very quickly. That's a catch. Whereas this guy can dissipate heat much better and it should survive. The third thing, well generally looking at the both circuits, you can see this one has much um, less amount of components. So even there, there are some missing components. There are just pads, but there is no component solder over here. Now taking a closer look at the missing components, you can see the high voltage protection, the transient voltage suppression diode and things like that are missing. So in case of a high voltage surge, this power supply will surely get damaged. So yeah, this looks like a cheaply built power supply, whereas this one all neatly pop populated. I have to turn on the light so you can better see it it's populated much densely as well as there are much higher number of chips for the power supply regulation and that kind of stuff so yeah this generally denotes this guy is better and all the safety components are located over here as you can see so there is no worries in case of high voltage surge and things like that the third thing guys which is really interesting and this is the most failing component of this switching mode power supplies is this capacitors particularly onto the DC side where you connect your motherboard so you can see there are just four capacitors so for each for like 3 volts 5 volts 12 volts and negative 5 volts so things like that but right over here you can see one two three four five six seven oh my god seven capacitors and yeah that clearly denotes like this has this power supply has a much better uh, voltage stability these capacitors are like small batteries so when you do heavy gaming onto your pc the higher peak currents will be fulfilled by these capacitors and uh, the another aspect which is uh, the brand of the capacitors now both of the companies use uh, cheap capacitors but at least we have uh, seven over here versus four so i would definitely choose this guy 
for the same price. Now another major difference over here guys you can see these are the four diodes for bridge rectifier. This will convert your AC voltage into DC and that will charge up this capacitor to 400 volts whatever. But this power supply has a very interesting component. You can see there are no diodes instead there is a full bridge rectifier and this is a dedicated high ampere component whereas they have used over here uh, cheap little diodes so definitely like this would convert power much more efficiently and it will surely last more so these are some general points that you should take a look at when you are buying your switching mode power supply now obviously you can't open up every power supply when you are going to buy them but you can see guys you can take a peek look into this uh, through these pins and just get the idea what's going on and as you can see guys i missed this point but you can see this transformer which is the main guts of this uh, power supply is much smaller you can see smaller than the pins but right over here we have a very uh, big transformer compared like it's just uh, twice size of this one so you can clearly see taking a look at the circuit board quality well guys over the time dust gets collected into these components and this should uh, do somewhat uh, some smaller short circuits and that should ruin your power supply but here they have used some kind of a varnish varnish coating uh, coating of some kind as you can see this circuit board has no varnish or no coating whatever so with the dust it will fail very quickly whereas this guy can survive much better closed both of the power supplies and now let's see the cable quality this is the main factor cause all the voltage can be either dropped or supplied to your motherboard so you can see this one has very thick cables so i can't easily able to bend this uh, copper cables whereas this guy is just easy to bend and you can see very thin cables actually if you closely take a look at the size they might use some heavier plastic but the bending property cannot be like falsified the clear winner here guys is this guy <laughs> obviously by the looks of it we can already see that so i hope you have guessed it right and uh, let me know what do you think about this video and uh, let me know your comments about the power supply and why they normally fail choose your power supply the best way so that's for today's video guys hit that like share this video subscribe to my channel and there is always thanks for watching peace goodbye